What's up, y'all? DJ the Sports Blurred. I'm back again. Did y'all miss me? Today we're gonna tackle a serious topic, and it's mental health. You know, before we jump too uh, before we jump too far into it, I'm sorry I can't talk today. You know, I want to tell you guys I appreciate anybody who's been rocking with me so far. I just like talking sports, and you guys have been rocking with me, and I really want to appreciate all the love and all the support I've gotten. You know, since you're already here, please go ahead and smash that like button for your boy. Uh, go ahead and also consider subscribing too, especially if you like any type of college football sports, uh, sports in general. You like to hear me rant. I'll, I'll talk about NBA. I'll talk about NFL, whatever. I could talk about it all. MLB, hockey, I could talk about it all. Um, but primarily, I just do college football on, on this channel. All right. So to get back into it, mental health. You know, a lot of you guys don't know, before I was a sports blurred, I was an athlete. I was an athlete all the way up until my 20s. Uh, like most of you guys, I played Pop Warner football, basketball, track, t-ball, baseball. I pretty much did it all. Um, I even did tennis and soccer <laughs> back in the day. Imagine that. You know, what most of you guys don't know about me is that obviously I played high school football, I played high school basketball, I ran track in high school, but I also played basketball in college as well. And, uh, you know, my entire life, I've, I've loved sports and I've used it as an escape, just like a lot of athletes do. Uh, but there have been times when sports has been overwhelming. Um, I never got to play. You never I never got the opportunity, I guess I should say, to play sports, you know, at some of the biggest levels. Obviously, I never went pro in anything and I never went to a major division one school to play, you know, any type of sports. But. I can at least have empathy for any other athletes who are going through any type of things. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching this can as well. So that brings me into my main topic for today. There was a football player from Ohio State. He was a fourth year offensive lineman. His name was Harry Miller. Very good player for the Buckeyes. And he just recently retired from football. You know, a little background on him. Uh, he's a 4.0 mechan mechanical engineer major. Uh, he plays multiple instruments. Uh, he even takes mission trips to Nicaragua. Uh, he was a valedictorian of his high school graduating class. I mean, this guy is absolutely brilliant and well-spoken and not just for a football player. Uh, he's a huge man, by the way. He's six foot four, 315 pounds. He's just an absolute mountain of a man. Um, very tough. Nothing weak about him. And yet every day was a struggle for him in terms of his mental health. Uh, so he recently just let his coach, Ryan Day, know that uh, he has had suicidal thoughts. And Ryan Day responded very quickly. I thought he did a good job with this. And he got him in touch with medical professionals, specifically with mental health professionals. You know, I think Ryan Day took the necessary steps to get his players some help. One thing that you guys have to remember is that, you know, they're not just athletes. They they live their life and it's not just they just they appear on Saturday and they go bash each other heads in. I mean, they, they are just humans, just like you or not. They're just regular people, not machines. You know, um, you got to have some type of empathy and, uh, to, you know, and you have to be able to kind of see things from their perspective. I mean, think about this. Imagine growing up, right? You play pop water football. You go to middle school. You play football in middle school. You play football in high school. And you finally get to play for the, the one college team that you've dreamt of for your entire life, whether that be Notre Dame, Ohio State, Clemson, uh, Alabama, Georgia, etc. And everything gets put on halt because you're struggling inside. I mean, that is that would be a terrible feeling. I mean, I actually applaud him for realizing that there was a problem and also not being quiet. And continue to suffer in silence. I mean, it takes a lot for athletes to admit they need help. Uh, if you've been an athlete, and I'm, mo and I'm sure most of you have, you know, and when somebody asks you how you're doing, even if your arm is broke, you got to say, I'm fine. Suck it up. You know, you got to grit your teeth and you got to grind in. And there's actually a time for that, I believe. I believe there's a time to be tough, but I also believe there's a time to realize, you know, I need some help. Uh, I think every one of us struggles with this on some level, some of us more than others. And a situation should, uh, should should make us all more caring. Uh, the next time you ask somebody how they're doing, actually listen to them for 30 seconds, man. Give them an ear. Uh, it can mean the world to them. It can mean more than you'll ever know to them. You know, sports is an escape for the most of us. Just don't forget that the athletes playing the game are humans too. 
All right, guys, that's my video. I just wanted to share that. You know, if you if you uh, ever need help, if you ever need to struggle, if you struggle from time to time, uh, don't, you know, feel free to reach out to that uh, National Suicide uh, Prevention Center. I'll go ahead and I'll throw that uh, that phone number for them in my in my bio. Um, but I want you to let you know, man, there's a lot to sports. It's a lot going on. There's a lot going on that we don't know about. So if you're already here, I thank you for rocking with me so far. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you spending some time with me. You could be anywhere in the world, yet you're here with me. Don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Um, I have some great videos for you guys planned up going forward. Uh, but I wanted to tackle this because I think it's serious. I think this might be my most serious video to date. It might not be my most viewed video, and I'm okay with that. All right, guys. Take care. I got nothing left to say.